Okay, here's what you do. First. You play Carry Sladar. Oh, the Void. Oh. oh, wow. You know what? I don't hate it. They're I mixing it up. It. Yeah, It threatens Jug. It's it not the best those. against Axe, but other than Axe, they don't, I, I guess they have Searing Chains too. It's not a perfect Void game, but I don't mind it. It's not a good it hero. It gives you team fight. It does. And I'm okay with that. And is that, uh, who's the... My, my own ears. So they're going to aggro try lane, try and give uh, Mu the 1v1 against the Snake King Axe, which, which is, is <laughs> exactly what we suggested. Yeah, but is 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 Void aggro try laning good? Oh, what a uh, no. I don't think so. Well, I, I mean, at least the supports are good for it, right? And he can't die, I guess. That's the yeah. one. That's a really big positive. Yeah, they have no stuns to lock him down. And they don't have enough burst damage either to surprise him, so... The Shatter Demon's not going to feel... I mean, it's just going to be kind of useless, I think. When it comes to threatening these heroes. We'll see. I would swap lanes. You would swap lanes if you're forward? Try and put the axe against this mess. Lead off. Stun onto the Shatter Demon. You are going to be left to take that bounty rune because they really want to get as much damage on Pilot Eye as possible. But Fear... Yeah, he's going to take a lot of damage on his way out. In fact, he's going to have all five stacks. He does have an Impale coming up. He's going to try and keep away from Yuar as best as possible. The Impale doesn't land on Yuar, and there it goes. Pilot oh. lets it go. That's first blood for forward in the aggro tri lane. That was supposed to be J Storm favored, or at least they hope so anyway. Also, Snae has no idea, but uh, there is still a bounty rune. Unless he's just letting it percolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The percolate strat. Percolate. So. I think it's one gold every 30 seconds yeah. for everybody, so... Let it percolate. It's my favorite uh, future song, as... <laughs> percolate. Gotta percolate. Some exactly. Skirt, skirt! Just not meant to be. All right, we'll see. J-Storm already trying to tilt a little bit uh, forward with the all chat. We'll see how the mid lane goes. CC and C playing the Ember Spirit against Nine's Dazzle. Now, this is a matchup that Nine should win, right? Uh, yes. He's going to own. I would hope so. It was their pure counterpick. Any melee hero Something that has to play against Dazzle always feels really rough. And it's obviously a 9 special. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, God. I'm so Dude, terrible. you suck. Dude, what's going on? TBH. heroes all over the place. They they just like suicide for creeps week. and stuff. I don't know, man. I mean, it wasn't first blood, so, you know. True that, friend. Axe is just going to cut the creep wave like he does against any 1v1 that is not favorable to him. Yeah, and Mu can't uh, go mess with him because he's so far back, too. Yeah. If you're going to commit to hurting this Axe, you've got to do it ASAP. And that's why you pull over to this camp right here. Don't pull to the easy camp. Timber Tuck can make his way over there. Pull to this camp. Double trouble. And that's where the Axe will start getting farther and farther ahead. But at least Mu will not be having the same kind of laning phase he had last time, which was just awful. CC and C does manage to grab a haste rune. Collects the creep wave as he was uh, nine, was trying to zone him out. Constant poison touches he was throwing. And I haven't seen it yet, but it looks like poison touch may be one of those abilities you can't destroy. Not sure. Mu. He's, he's going to take it. a bit of a risk here to see if he can pull this creep wave over, but if he doesn't successfully do something to the axe here and force him to TP, then uh, it will cost him a lot. Snaking, first whirling death coming out, but underneath all these creeps, he is willing to fight it out for a while. In fact, uh, Mu taking a lot of damage here. He ran out of uh, reactive armor stacks, so he took a lot of damage. He almost just straight up all died. Of those uh, spins, and now he's going to have his healing salve canceled. Snaking is now going to go for the TP, and honestly, I think, oh, Snaking got him. He repops the healing salve saying, nope, gotcha. <laughs> I was actually staying here oh the whole my time, Lord. idiot. And now, now oh, does gonna, he have a call? His TP is going to be canceled. I've, Snaking might even be able to kill him. Moo, he's level three. Chase down the spin. Snaking's now level five. Snaking That's is, how you win a 1v1. Is honestly... That was so dope. He's a genius. That was, and now he doesn't have a TP, so fear has to come down here. Your timber saw is gonna miss like three waves of XP. Woo! Return of the king, baby. The king wants this. This guy wants it. The way that he's played in the last two games, this guy wants it. Cap, he wants it. Yeah. You got the pure. You picked Dude, the timber to counter, uh -huh. and this man just, ooh.
Look at him. He gives him the battle hunger, so he runs that much slower he to be able to get back to lane. Really worked you. Didn't uh, like Mu did this exact same thing against the Axe matchup last time, right? Forced yeah. him to TP it, etc. And uh, well, Sneza, Snaking had a plan. The early level of the Berserker's call, he didn't anticipate it. Uh, also, he just stopped hitting Mu, so Mu never got reactive armor charges. Yeah, he relied on the creeps to give him the damage. He played that game of chicken. Mu obviously didn't think uh, that was going to happen. Certainly not. Now he is very far behind in levels and gold and everything, honestly, because you can see Snaking just keeps on out efficient. 39 and 0, 26 and 7 for 9, who's been pretty much free farming in mid lane. As expected, he just keeps on putting the poison on CC and C and getting free CS. Yeah, and uh, Snaking now going to use the courier. He's got his full phase boots here. No one is messing with this hero anymore. They've lost the safe lane, they've lost this bottom lane quite dominantly. Uh, See if he can get the bounty runes as well. Yeah. Top lane, 1437. Pila die is going to go for the disruption. See if they can get the third poison stack. Meanwhile, Fear is going to try and go for taking that bounty rune. Pila die gets one. Fear gets the other. And sure enough, Snaking does get both of them because Mu really can't challenge him with this kind of. He forgot. Did he? Level did anyone advantage. ever get the five or the beginning rune? Oh, I don't think they so. Didn't. so. I think Snake might have thought that there was just a straight up trade. Yeah. Awkward. Well, honestly, with the way Snake King just destroyed Mu, his hopes, his dreams, his soul, I'm I'm okay with him missing a bounty room. But that's uh, that's extra gold. I mean, things are okay because the Dazzle's doing so well. Yeah. He's up uh, 700 gold on this Ember Spear mid. That is something that we should discuss and not discount, is that this Dazzle is doing what he needs to do to come back in this game. Mm -hmm. We're just so focused on Snake King because that was a hype moment. It really was. 3,300 net worth for him. 2K on the Timber Sob. Where are core matchups? You are 2,300 and the Void very low down there. 1,400 for resolution. He has not gotten the CS he had hoped to. Nine actually gets oh found by Snakey. And he didn't even get him. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Snake is actually just dominating this game for his team. Look at the net worth differential. He has. The difference between him and the next person is Rezo's full net worth. <laughs> like, that is how far ahead this man is. The spin coming out. 1437 is going to be lifted up. Telekinesis, you are trying to finish him, but he's a tanky hero. And you can see Resolution really hoping for a bash here on MSS. Doesn't get it. The disruption on Fear means there's no impale. So he turns around to help out 1437, who doesn't get hit by that second bit of poison. Might have been the kill on him that he needed, but... Uh, all three of these heroes up here, level three, Yawar doing a little bit better because they have been able to get some pulls off. They very crucially de-warded this early on, and Snaking just continues to be as abusive as possible. I mean, he's almost about to be level nine right now. Moose thinking about it. He's spotted under this ward vision. Snaking could uh, just outrun him. That is the counter to Timber Saws. Yeah. You simply just are fast. And Snaking so far ahead, he's saying, you know, I don't need to get that fast blink that I usually uh, want to go for, especially against a void. You would imagine that blink dagger timing is all important, but he's saying, you know what? I'm far enough ahead. I'm going to get this Vanguard, and I'm going to be indestructible. Yeah, and he's going to see some TPs come in, and in fact, Ooh, he's going to make his move on a 9 mid. Almost pop of the flame dying. Guard. They're going to see if they can kill mine. You managed to get the call, and the cooling blade is going to come out to finish him off. That's a killing spree. Back over to Fear, who's quite low and will die to the Fade Bolt. He had Ward Vision down, too. Just didn't spot him in time. Yeah. Kind of stuck in that no man's land area where if he runs up, he'd probably just get chained and run down. Yeah. So this continues to be the uh, Snay show. I mean, we can't understate how well he's doing. He won a lane that you're not supposed to win. Not just won, but dominated it. He skanked the enemy mid laner, the only person that's really been able to get anything going on the side of J Storm, uh, and he's killed him twice. Yeah. Uh, he continues to out efficiency everybody on the map as he gets a creep wave plus. Moo is going to get. A little bit of pittance for that as he's going to grab one. two skellies. Forced out the spin from UR. Managed to get away. I think one of the uh, other advantages, this is a Radiant side Dazzle, so he can easily come over here and farm up this neutral camp. Poison Touch is actually excellent for clearing through uh, neutral camps. So you just put them on, bop them all once, and they're all going to die. 
This is where CCNC, though, is also trying to come back right now, just farming up his own neutral set. He's even going to be ahead in levels because of all those ganks. Uh, and we haven't talked too much about this top lane because, aside from the kills that uh, Forward have gotten, it's been sort of a dead lane. Off to another blistering start for Forward. Yeah, Jesus, 6-0. 6-0. I mean, I hope the score doesn't look like it did last game, as now they're going to punish Snaking. They've got three heroes down here. This, this should be a kill. This is a big kill. They have the Chakra on, but do they have the TP cancel? They do with the Ice Pass. Snaking sees the comedy, but he can't dodge it in time, and they will bring him down. 337 gold off that killing spree goes to Moo to help him recover. And this time around, they get a kill for the 20-minute mark, and it's a big one, too. Absolutely. One on a Snaking as... You have to kill him at oh, some point. Resolution has to run down river. You are is forcing him completely out of lane because he's level six and has Omni Slash and uh, old Rezo here just shy of level five. Yes, he's been. When your supports leave you like that to go get the kill, uh, that's pressure put on your safe lane. Like they're, you're drawing away pressure from one lane, <laughs> while another one will, you know, will have to suffer for it. Pilot Eye, he's gonna pop out. Surprise, I'm getting these bounty runes. You can't stop me. Moo may try and punt. Oh, instead he's gonna get the haste rune. Let's see if he runs down the Shadow Demon or not. If not, 1437, his life may be forfeit here. Because he doesn't have a TP. Not that it would matter with the chains up from CCNC anyway. So eighth kill for forward in 10 minutes. Yeah, and they continue to uh, play this very fast, aggressive style. Uh, their supports are in on it. Their carries in on it. Everyone he seems out the void. He's going to be able to get the Omni Slash on him. Resolution. Oh, he's not actually dead, but he will fall eventually. Time walk just is too long of a cooldown. Boy. And this is where I think things get scary. When we were in this run, DC, uh, two years ago, you can sense when you're about to lose. Yeah. And your TI hopes are about to go away. The mood in the game changes. People aren't talking as much. Because, you, you know, it feels inevitable almost at that point. So this is the time if you're J-Storm, until yourself. Everything's fine. There's still ways into this game. You right. can still fight around this Chrono. That is not a good sign as uh, MSS is level 6 before Rezo is. Yeah. <laughs> he said, fight around this chrono. And I'm like, oh boy. Resolution. Even though they've been trying to give him a lot of solo space to get the, the levels needed, it's just not been happening. If they can kill Snake again, that'd be massive. But it's Moo who's currently in trouble. Has to chamber chain away into the trees and then go back to the other side of the river just to stay away from MSS, who has the Whirling Death stolen. So if he can get on top of him, Whirling Death plus a Fate Bolt is going to do a lot of damage. Look at positioning to get maximum amount of damage by hitting the trees. Moose still going to be able to Timber Chain away to the side again, but eventually he's going to be found by Snaking as the Purge cuts oh, him Pi down. They at least that, got Pile I died, though, thanks to the Chakram. And now the call on to Fear. Does have an Impale. He may have to pop in here soon. First going to go for the Spike Carapace. And MSS Jesus, with the Chakram with the stolen. Chakram stolen, dominating by MSS. The Chad War Rubik, as Grant said, yeah. paying off as score now 11 to 2. A better showing so far in the early game because they can fight, but the laning phase just went a little bit too rough in this bottom and top lane, and it's it's been and a struggle so far. One of the big downsides is that while Dazzle is a lane dominator, he doesn't do anything to change the outcome of your side lanes. Yes, you just kind of farm. Yeah, and. Uh, you get this necro book, you hit Ancients. As they pick up the Blink Dagger on Snake King, they're going to let the bottom tower fall uh, by its lonesome. They don't really care about that. As the Dire did use their scan, they're going to place the same ward they did earlier. Bottom tower is going to die to the last flick. And they're trying to make their way towards mid. Fear are actually going to block this by Pylite Die. They're going to know that he's there now. Man, just get the call on him. Swiftly execute him and... Pressure the tower. Diving past the tower to kill the creep wave. Snake King understands that he's the strongest hero on the map, so he's going to take advantage of that. They do still have the uh, Chrono Seer that we haven't seen come out, and as they take this tower, I presume J Storm will try and defend mid. But uh, all these heroes from forward are not actually sticking at mid tower. Instead, they're rotating up. That's going to be spotted. 
as they uh, de-ward over here. Resolution's gonna be got by the call. They do have the ice path, but nobody to tank up the Omni Slash. Poor old Resolution is now nine. He's gonna be in trouble as well. First time he leaves his lane, and he's immediately cut down by forward. See, since he's now Moon more. may be joining them as well. Fear comes forward with a spike. Hairpace Snake King is just a monster, though. With all this movement speed, he is just catching hero vision on hero. Fear. They've got the sentry on him. They do manage to get the call onto the Nix Assassin. A great Chakram and a chain is this five? by Moon. But a fifth death, this Moo is not going to be able to outrun Five, forward. No. 6,000 gold lead, 2 to 17, a wipe at 14 minutes in this forward. Is, they're looking like they're trying to beat their previous two games. I was like, oh, it looks a little bit closer this time around. And no, it looks like we're going to get a mirror of the last two games. What a dominant performance and how quickly are forward playing. Yeah. Every single move feels so decisive. They're getting something out of it. They're playing as a team. Right now, J-Storm, I mean, their they're lineup sort of in shambles is an early 7K gold lead. Rezo has no sort of game right now. Is he's trying to do whatever he can to recover. He's pinging the bounty runes. They've got vision of this. They've got complete vision advantage. They've de-warded two wards. Look at all these sentries that they have placed. This is a team that has put a premium on warding, and it pays off. Yeah. When you're ahead and you're able to lay sentries all around the map against Nyx Assassin, feels... Fantastic. Yeah, and they're uh, they're smoked up. They might actually get Snake King here as he tries to get this. Oh, the smoke breaks. Snake King is going to be able to blink away. And now they're going to know about the presence of these heroes. They're going to continue to play around the shrine area. CCNC might be the target here. Does have a remnant up, but in the wrong direction. They just don't have the easy initiation. You know, like if the Nyx is the Nyx is and can't just run into this tower area. Yeah, and. Uh, Rezo's done with that. He's like, I can't be up here anymore. Yeah. So he's going to TP up to this top lane. Maybe they've created some space because naturally forward do move down to this bottom lane. But if it comes at the cost of Nine's life, that can't be worth it. Telekinesis, bring him a little bit lower with the Soul Catcher so Snake King can get that Culling Blade once again. They're going to try and kill uh, CC and C here in the mid lane, but do they have enough burst damage? I just kind of doubt it. Yeah, you could see he's still. Very healthy, had the remnant to the side. In fact, sticks around. Back. Yeah. That's when you know he's confident. He doesn't even have to, actually he almost dies because of it when he remnants back into the chakram. But uh, I unfortunately for J-Storm, I mean, I'm trying to think of stuff. They uh, <laughs> are going to lose <laughs> another hero here as now it'll be 19 to 2. I, I like that, but I like, oh, uh, God, resolution's two. dead from solo snaking kill. I like how you lead with uh, fortunately, and then you haven't thought of what the fortunately uh, point is. They haven't lost mid tower. They haven't lost mid tower yet. Okay. We haven't seen what a chrono fight looks like for them either. True, true. No chronosphere yet. Yeah, so we could uh, we could end up seeing something. Unfortunately, this uh, oh. well, I won't say unfortunately. There's there's no more. There's enough bad points to talk about for J Storm. It's, uh, as Grant would say, let's let's focus on the positive. Let's be a glass half full kind of caster. Samplets. I'm trying, man. <laughs> like, I haven't, this is. <laughs> really, the glass is like an eighth full, Dog. but we're trying to say it's I half to, full. Because the thing is, I have to contextualize the last two games that we watched too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two drops in the, in the cup right now. I'm trying. Because I really, you know, I wanted to see a game five. Uh-huh. Uh, Personally, it just doesn't look like we're trending in that direction. You know, a 10k net worth just means that when forward do die, dude, the comeback it's mechanic be is worth real. A lot. The yeah. comeback mechanic yeah. is real. Even killing Pi at this point. Oh, when you're and you know, Pi I die loves Pi's to gonna die. die. It's like, in his worry. name. Oh, They're gonna boy. find him at some point, just like Knight. He's Rezo's now being found by Snake King, and sure enough, the Culling Blade is gonna be able to get him. Where is our Chronosphere? The Omni Slash is gonna be able to bounce over the side, sticks onto Moo after the Creep Wave. They're gonna try and chase him down here, but he has plenty of Chakram stacks for Resolution. Oh no, he's been found by Snake King once again. How does Snake King keep on finding these kills? He's got one core, then the other, and now, sure enough, he's gonna be able to get Moo as well. CCNC, he'll be the one to get the last hit, but seriously, we have yet to see a Chronosphere. He's just not ge being given the opportunity. This Ward Vision War is being so thoroughly dominated, and they might even fight five, five. It's going to be the second wipe of the game, one that forward do not drop a single hero oh my for. It is now 25 to 2. It was looking like somehow J Storm was going to outpace last game and do slightly better, but it's looking even worse. Yeah.
They have a combined 10 kills to now it's honestly... It's uh, it's about a hundred. We're at ninety-eight kills to ten in the last three games. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted, if somebody wanted to keep track, we're at ninety-eight kills to ten in the three games. Oh, uh, you want to give me a win, win percentage? I will prediction? say two percent. It's a four percent. Four percent. Okay. Okay. It's you know they they're like they got the chronosphere. They have the chronosphere. They that have is, the chronosphere. It's a much easier win condition than the mag four position RP is. Yeah. Let me say that. But it's not looking, it's not looking too hot. I, this vision advantage that Pi is giving them the ward here, the vision here, they have co just completely choked them out. Yeah. They've dewarded everything. Uh, but can we even take a look at what the ward vision looks like right now? Yeah, I, For, I, I, uh, I checked out. Uh, they have forwards. this one ward. They lead off with the impale. Follow up. They're going to have to use the Chronosphere here as well as the Macropire Ice Pat. But the disruption! Pilot Die was so fast and now Snake King's here to respond. He's caught the Jakiro, calling Blade 1. Now Resolution, who's been purged up, is not going to be able to escape very quickly. Actually turning to fight back here as Moo is saying, we can do this. We can they take got down Snake King. We can even go for more. Has now found the Healing Ward. You are trapped inside the trees. Doesn't have an easy out. He's calling Blade's on cooldown. And now Moo him. says, I'll cut down the trees for you. Just like I'll cut down for your life. Looking for more, but the Ice Path is going to be able to lock down Moo. They are going to be able to get several kills in return. They killed nine, finished up with Moo, two for three exchange. That was the best fight that they've had by far. And it's, uh, I think, you know, 1,500 gold. A little bit more experience as well for J Storm. That is actually so funny. That it's a big win. Even with the three. A two for three exchange. two for three, <laughs> they gained so much gold. And right now, they just need it. Uh, we did see how good the Timbersaw can be in that position against the Axe. He's so good at getting him killed. The uh, stat loss plus the amount of pure damage that he puts out cuts yeah. through the raw HP that the Axe puts together. Uh, so there are, you know, we can see what an okay fight looks like. Nope, oh, caught him with the Ice Path. And he says, boop, I'm going to take your uh, dual breath as well. Lift you up in the air so you're helpless. And wicked sick for MSS. Do, we see, do you think we see another 30 kill game to four? Oh. Yeah, it's happening. CCNC, they're, they're coming for him right now. Stun. Oh, he doesn't have Chronosphere, though. So unless he gets some ungodly bashes, he does Yules himself trying to get... Oh! Nice. Get a fifth kill. Way too greedy by him. And First gonna get time up. that J-Storm has gotten a fifth kill in a game since game one in this series. So that's... Uh, and they're chasing for Moo right now. He doesn't have a TP. He's oh got to get out of here. He's going to get onto the high ground, break space. the trees. You're creating space, Moo, right now. That's what you're doing. He's going to wake up the neutrals. That's going to give him a few reactive armor stacks. Now, oh, nice that's timing. a disruption to be able to catch him before the chains goes off. Now they're going to be able to get the call to Bloodstones. Going to be able to keep him healthy enough, though, that he's not going to be in cooling blade range just yet. But eventually, it's just too much magic damage. Snake continues to play really quickly. He wants to find Rezo right now. There's no ward vision up there, so if he sees him, that'll be another kill. He's playing this topside area. This man is just running around like a maniac. From lane to lane. Anytime uh, there's not a hero in lane, he'll just farm neutrals until eventually someone shows up. Here. Okay, you've opened up on CC and C. They do have the Chronosphere from Resolution, but instead it's just fear. Snake dying. King's found Rezo. They managed to get a call on him. Rezo, big time trouble, and they got him low enough. The Yules the is just so good. The spin is just too much, and now forward. They just keep jumping forward. Yawar, Omni slashes, a, a uh, Jakiro. They're pressing forward right now on the move. Any buybacks, there is one of the Nyx Assassin. 12 seconds left. He's going to buy back, try and save ninth life. But again, the Axe is such a big counter to this Dazzle. Fear trucking forward with the Vendetta, hoping he can find a six kill for forward. Or excuse me, for J-Storm. He is going to be able to get a spike hair based on onto CC and C. Get the Impale. Doesn't actually hit CC and C, though. Moo needs a tree to be able to jump away to. There's one on the left-hand side, but there's so much control. He does manage to get away. MSS. Gets out with his own timber chain as he tried to cut through Moo. And Moo is actually really tanky. Damage. And he is. Moo's getting really tanky here as they've got Chrono up. Rezo's going to TP in. Wants to create something for his team. It's still a decent level. I mean, he's level 14. Chrono's here uh, level 2 at the bare minimum. He's got some damage. He's trying to get a BKB for himself. 
So BKB there, nine. Met Guardian Greaves. Like, God, I just don't know what you do as this Dazzle against Dax. Yeah, this feels like a moderately farm support Dazzle. Yeah. Right now in this game. And uh, net worth sort I mean, of reflecting that. It's the one thing is that, like, they saw it in the draft. They could not let Snake King go off, especially since they just experienced it last game, what Snake King's axe could do. And that was that's, that job was entirely up to Moo to try and shut him down and said the opposite happened. And uh, now forward are up by 17,000. Got to be feeling good, though. T.I., the taste of it on their lips right now. All you need to do is play clean 15 minutes, and you're good. Yeah. If you're forward. and Could be some of the most important 15 minutes of forward's life. I mean, this is the biggest TI that we've seen so far. Who knows where the prize pool even ends? <laughs> yeah, if we approaching even get to something like that again right now. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Shout out to the community. Go you guys. You can see J Storm hesitant to take any fights outside of the high ground areas that they control. Moo, is it well in position here to be able to intercept they know on the high smoke? Ground. And I love that forward as their smoke breaks. They don't make the blind jump. They don't Snake want to, especially not on Moo. backs up and he says, no, guys, we're way too far ahead to throw like this. Moo is the worst person going in that situation. Yeah, for sure. That's what sets up for the next chrono. It's just the pure tankiness of this timber saw. You gather around him with your three melee cores, you try to kill him, and then all of a sudden you get three-man chronoed in a uh, Jakiro ultimate, and suddenly you've thrown away your lead. Macro Pyre and Chakram, they do have some decent abilities to throw into that Chronosphere when they do catch a big one. Yeah, just be disciplined. They can go top after. Roshan is still an objective for them. I believe they've got a medallion on uh, courtesy of CCNC. So right now, J Storm, TI hopes on the line. This is the last chance they get at this. To at least give themselves the opportunity to force it to a game number five. Smoked up, heading towards top, leaving Yuar behind here with a remnant just in case. Now Fear's the one who's going to be found off of this one. Not that big of a deal for J-Storm, honestly. You take what you can get, but... Uh, oh, and he got his Meteor Hammer, too. Yeah. Fear is... He's like, whatever, I pushed out a lane. Yeah. It's a, a smoke and a four-man rotation for Nyx's life, as long as nobody else gets caught. But J-Storm have not been adjusting to how fast forward to move around the map, and that is a single solo man Chronosphere. Oh, the, the kill, nope. Pylai die. They do manage to get that sixth kill, but it's not much to celebrate. As forward, they go ahead and say, all right, well, then no chrono. Chronosphere down. Let's go ahead and fight. Moo's going to be able to get to the low ground, trying to protect Nine as best as possible. He preemptively shallow graves. Honestly, that spell does nothing for you at this point. It really doesn't. It, it's like he's casting it just to get the minus armor, bad juju on them. Yeah. It's just, it's just a spell to cast. Item update, we are going to see the heart for Axe. CCNC has the uh, Aghanim Scepter closing in once again. Full Mjolnir for Yawar is on its way very soon. MSS is going to be working on the Yule Scepter. Moo is going to be here in time to get some information on this Roshan Would attack. Would you yellow it? Throws out ah. the Chakram. I mean, you got to take some risks in life. Risk it for the biscuit. They don't have Chronosphere, so maybe this isn't really much of a risk. I'm more like just a straight-up suicide. J-Storm agree. They don't even try. Approach the pit. They just hope to be able to slow down forward a tad bit. Oh. But instead, it's going to be 1437. Who's going to die here? Unless the Yule Scepter can buy him some space. You are dancing around that ice path. Okay, not, not that good of a dancer, apparently. Yeah, so dead. But it's still uh, 1437, who is a goner. Oh, look at this. Mass rotations over to the bottom lane. They're thinking, we just showed a top resolution. He won't expect this fast of a play. The Meteor Hammer. Oh, oh it barely doesn't happened? land. Oh, no. Self Yules gets CCNC out of there. But now an offensive Yules move. Tried to go through him, but doesn't get it with the Tamer Chain. Now he's been purged up. He gets a little bit of distance from UR, but it's not good enough. Resolution, 10 seconds until he has the Chronosphere. And even then, without Chakram, 
Oh no. I don't know if they can really they do enough damage to anybody. They almost had CCNC. It was so close. So we did the impale meteor hammer, yeah, but there's they, just they it's had not the a perfect on top. stun. Yeah, he just yules himself, dodged it, and then got out barely. Rough. Oh nine, that's that's not the place to TP. Or maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it's fine. It's fine. They have vision. They have vision. Just because you have a shrine here does not mean that this area is yours. Pushing back that top lane that was shoved in by the Dazzles. He's just trying to create some space with his Man, uh, what Necronomicon. If they, what if they, like, four-man Chrono get the comeback? How how hype would that yeah, be? Yeah, dude, if they hit the, the Impale Meteor Hammer with a Chakram on top of it, it Macro would be pyre. sick. Let it all out. And forward, at this point, that's the only way they can lose. All they have to do is keep on getting these pick offs. The ice path from 1437 does buy nine a, a small sliver Good of Lord. time, but he time dies. isn't much of a factor. It is pretty much inevitable. His death at this point, and it looks like somebody else's death could be inevitable as well. As Moo, he's going to be found. Another ice path coming out from that Rubik, controlling to hold him up. They do buy back on nine, though. J Storm looking for the fight, but Resolution has been spotted. At this point, it's all about the Chronosphere and making sure Rezo does not get a beauty. And they want to disengage off that because Snake King has no mana. They're going to grab their own bounty rune. Snake King invised up. Might just uh, go solo pop the shrine if he's feeling himself. That's when you know you're ahead. Yeah, when your game, my game is the only game that matters, especially when he sees resolution right now. He wants that man as quick as possible. He's going to be able to make the jump. MSS follows it up with the ice path. They've already gotten that kill. Now they're going to be able to find 1437 as it's well. Just a, a little bit nine. farther. That's going to be nine who has bought back into this one and is going to die back. 6 to 41 with MSS getting the double kill beyond Godlike Spree over to mid lane where the Meteor Hammer's just been dropped on the mid tier one tower, hoping to get it, but the glyph was up and Snake King, well, he's just delaying Fear's retreat at this point so they can get their 40 second kill of the game. He's going to keep Vision of Fear as fast as possible, blinking nice. away from the Impale, making sure the Fear is a bit hemmed in. All they need is the Vision, the Ice Path misses, and Fear gets out off of the TP. Barely doesn't escape theirs. I mean, that is a win for you at this point with how far behind you are. You take all of those. Oh, boy, do you take all of those, Cap. Well, it, on the upside, Blitz, nine doesn't add damage to the Chronosphere. So they may still be able to take a fight without him, but they really needed fear, and that's why he's got a buyback here. Still have the Aegis on the side of forward. They're finally content to go high ground, 42 to 6, up 25k. They wanted to absolutely ensure this game. And they have done so. It is a 0% win probability right now for J Storm. But I don't believe in that nonsense. It almost looks like the jug spinning when he's inside the uh, chakram in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. really confused by that. I was trying to put that together. Oh, they found him! Staking out as he keep on doing this. He managed to find resolution. He gets a little bit of time, but not enough to be able to time walk it out. He's going to be able to buy back here. But MSS, as well as Yawar, just chaining up disables and damage to be able to almost bring down Moon. They finally pop the BKB, and all they got was a Rubik who had the Shadow Demon outside of it with the disruption save. That is a Chronosphere this that does nothing, and now he's stolen the Chronosphere. This is just MSS now swagging on J Storm. They're going to prove once and for all that they are the team that is superior. They are the team that deservedly will go to the international with just one last call. Here on the nine, there is the Chronosphere locking down all of the heroes thanks to MSS. The Chakram being thrown out on top of the Chronosphere given by MSS. On to Moo, pull it back, bring him down, die back for the void, and that's it. That's Resolution game. calls it, and Forward Gaming will head to the International as the final 18th team to go. Congrats to them as these last three games